Yeah, how was that? Oh, it was so nice. My baby is so stress free. How old is she now? She's nine. Oh, oh <laughs> she's nine. All the questions, <laughs> all the Let's conversations. See, she's she's very. God gave me a very stress free child. Like she's oh my god. Oh, sorry. No, it's okay. Fine. <laughs> Are you sure? Okay. So you know how kids can be very. Inquisitive. She's inquisitive, but she's respectfully. <laughs> she's respectfully. So I think she's also. I think she's. I don't. I don't want to jump and say she's a bit emotionally intelligent, because like the question that before she would ask me, she would say, "Mommy, I, I just want. To, I just say I should ask. I just ask. And I was ask. She'd be like, um, and then she would ask. But she has never really asked. I know one day she would, she would ask me about her dad. I know the day we come. No, the day will come. will come. She hasn't asked me seriously yet. But do you think? Do you think? Do you, don't you think she has asked her grandma? I'm sure she probably yeah. has. I'm so sure she probably, probably has. I I'm sure she probably has. But like that time, like when she came in December, it was we were just enjoying. Uh, our, we were imagine. just enjoying the time going to church. Then hey, she watched Jesus. Just watching cartoon every second. But it was very nice, mm-hmm. and it just made me want to. Like work extra hard so she can come to live us, yeah. so she can live with me. Well, so that's it? that's the plan, like long term. Yeah, long yeah. Term. So that's the plan, no? And I want to get married too now. So. Of course, it will happen. Uh-huh. It yeah. will happen yeah. because from you sitting down here and talking to me, and you have, you know, the positive energy thing you talked about that you just need positive energy around. You carry it. You carry it. Yeah. So whatever you carry will come to you. So okay. yeah, you're definitely going to find a wonderful Amen. man that would love you and love your daughter. Amen. Amen. What's the most difficult part about being away from her on a daily basis, like um, on a day-to-day basis? <laughs> it's crazy. Well, I also see baby content online. Oops. <laughs> we apologize. <laughs> <laughs> also, yeah. We apologize. <laughs> what are you doing? No, don't worry. I watched the haircuts video of you and, you and your baby. It was very nice. Um, I say that because, you know, if I separated myself from the rest of the world, it would mm. be so bad. Mm. But I can't separate myself from the rest of the world. So I'll right. see people and their babies. I mean, I mean, what kind of my church? Yeah. I ran away from serving in children's church. I wanted to serve in children's church. But I just figured, guy, yeah, you go to cry every, every day. day. Yeah, I'll be tough. willing every Sunday if I was in children's church and church. So I just like so like seeing other people with their babies. And then I'd also say like talking to her sometimes. Mm. Because, yeah, you guys must talk a lot on the phone. We talk every day. She's every very, day. Not every day, every day. Sometimes, you know, we used to fight too. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes we used to fight too. Like I said, she's very, she's a, she's very cautious. Mm. So, a lot of times, I always have to be like... Yeah, to get her to, to say something. What so, happened yeah. in school today? What's going on? Like, total I literally always beg her sometimes. Like, sometimes she just won't. And then very recently, she's been very... Um, Mommy, I miss you. I want to see you. I'm like, Jesus Christ. I, I literally always tell her, I told her, you know, I can't, like, we can't be in the same place. No, please. Like, like I can't, obviously, I can't tell her to stop asking to yeah. see me. So I'm always just like, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Because it's tough. I, I know that it's tough um, having to, because you're the adults in the relationship. Yeah. You're the one that has to now Try and make sure that um, yeah, she doesn't you, feel the yeah too much. Yeah. You know, like more recently, she's been very. I miss you. I want to see you. I'm you know, because she's getting she's getting to that age. She's yeah. now she's talking to her friends. At yeah. yeah, they are talking about what they did with their mom at the especially. weekend and all of that. So yes, it's 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 definitely tough. But then I need you to also try and remember that you're also still someone's child. Shebi. Yeah. So <laughs> give, your, give yourself give yourself some. Um, some credit. Yeah. Um, what you're going through is tough. I mean, nobody sets out and decides that they want to live away from their child. You yeah. know, um, it's it it cannot be easy. It cannot be easy. Like sometimes, just the th- like do you know. Okay, mm-hmm. quick example. There are gigs that I have negotiated slightly less in my favor. Like 
the negotiations didn't really go in my favor because I had to make a concession with them because I didn't want to spend too, too much, much time, time away from home. So they might want you for for 10 days and they're willing to pay you your daily rates to be out of the states, mm -hmm. you know, come shoot in Abuja. But then because I do not spend too much time away at a stretch, I'll tell them, you know what, I can only do five days, yeah. blah, blah, blah. So yeah. it's more intense, it's more hard work, it's more stressful, mm -hmm. it's less money. Mm -hmm. But I'd rather shoot all my scenes in five days and take, you know, my daily rate for five days than yeah. my daily rate for 10 for days, 10 just so days, I can come yeah. back home and see my child. Mm -hmm. Or I tell them we have to get, we have to break it and I'll fly myself back home. I fly myself back. And, you know, she yeah, does so the same yeah, as well, just so that, so trust me, I completely Speaking understand. understand. For us who have been living with our you. child for three years and mm. we kind of miss him every time we're away yeah. and it's vice, vice versa because he misses us every time we're, mm -hmm. we're away. I can't imagine what you're going through. Mm. But the Lord is your strength. Amen. Um, I'm glad <laughs> that you have God on your side. And I'm glad that you have this positive energy around you. Um, and I'm glad that you have your mom. Yeah, oh. and good friends. And your mom. Especially your mom. Mm. Yeah. Especially my mom. I'm glad you have her. Thank yeah. you, mom. Thank you, <laughs> Thank mommy. You. <laughs> Thank Cause, you. Because like, I feel like sometimes I just like... I try not to think about it so that I don't... Um, yeah, because you can't be breaking down every day. But, yeah. Because like you must hustle this hustle. Hey! 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 <laughs> Hey. <laughs> hey. <laughs> also, that my show is not like this. It will. It, it will. He has it will. to. He has no choice. So I, I feel like one of the main reasons why I empathize. Mm -hmm. um, so my parents split up when I was about six. Mm. So technically, my parents didn't split up. My dad split when I was about six. You know, um, he was a military officer. He loved his job. Mm. My father was one of those people that, you know how they say some people are in love with the uniform, mm. they're in love with their military career. Yeah. My father was in love with his job. And so he, used to, he did all the tours. He did um, um, Liberia, he did Libya, he did Sierra Leone, he did like everywhere that Echo Mog was going in the mm. 80s, my mm. father was there. So by the time I was six or seven, they just out, my mother outgrew him, being him around. because she was like, mm, I mean, so he, he basically just, just stopped coming back home basically. And so I was raised basically by a single mother, you know, to, to put it mildly. And I'm the oldest of, of three. So there's my, there's myself, my sister, and then my brother. And I, I saw the things that my mother went through, you know, she was working two jobs. Um, she was taking care of, and we didn't, we didn't, we didn't, we didn't lack, do you understand? There are things that we wish, there are things we wanted, but the things that we needed, we had, mm. you know. Mm. But this string also did not stress her. And we didn't, stress thank you for reminding you me. Get we did not stress my mother. Important. Like, because, like, that's why when you're saying that, you know, you think about, ah, my mother hears that I did this, or how would she feel, you know. Before it you was do a something. deterrent. Yeah. Like, I would think about it if I join my, my friends and skip school. I want to misbehave small like this. Just small misbehave. Check just, myself just, straight just, up. Ah, Wait, hey, no, you're not on the same level as like these guys. You understand? Oh, so you could just misbehave yourself and yeah. stuff like that. So I know that <clears throat> your mom would be having a lot of conversations in her head about, ah, they will now say that it's because I was, I was the one that raised her that she made this mistake. So the chances are high that a lot of the time you would feel the same way, you know, especially when, you know, um, you've sorted out a couple of things and then your daughter moves in with you. You would always have that in the back of your mind. But I want you to also remember that ultimately, right, what as a parent you can do is the best you can do. Always give yourself that. Because sometimes I catch myself feeling like, Oh my God, I'm failing. Oh my God, I'm not doing enough for Keon and everything and everything. Well, I also have to talk to him and tell him yeah, that. Yeah, she sits me learning. down. She's like, we learn every day on the job. She, mm. she, she, my mm. wife sits me down. She's like, one, you're not your daddy. Mm -hmm. That Two, I told him. <laughs> Two, I see you and I see other men and I can tell you that you are doing, doing great. Amazing. And you're a good man. Thank you, baby. You're welcome. I appreciate that. Continue talking. <laughs> So, <laughs> so <laughs> yeah, he will lose focus. Hey, it's, it's, my week, it's my week. It's my week. I will lose focus. Mm. So she makes sure that I remember to take a breath. You understand? So from time to time, take a deep breath and remind yourself that at this point in time, you are doing the best that you can. can. 
you cannot come and go and what kill, kill yourself. Kill uh-huh. yeah. So as long as you continue to do the best that you can, mm-hmm. whatever, some things might take longer. Yeah. But then there will, there will be things that will happen so much faster than you ever imagined. imagined. Always remember to hold on to those victories. Always. These are the things that will continue to keep you going. Mm-hmm. And I really hope that you that you you find someone who finds you. Yes. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Because that's important. Um, one question. Yeah. A series of questions. <laughs> um, so I wanted to know how you navigated navigated your conversations with your daughter. How how do you talk to her? What do you tell her? Um, okay. So um, and your relationship with her. Okay, so I'd say our relationship now it's actually is actually even better than it was before because before hmm, Tolua please talk to me. So I shortened her name to Tolua. Yeah. Like so Tolua is God's own. Tolua talk to me. She would literally drop the phone. Mm. But I couldn't even get angry because mm. I'm not there. Mm-hmm. You know. So mom would not be like, Your mommy is talking to you and then she'll come back. And she'd be like, Hello Ma oh, she has the cutest voice. Hello mommy. <laughs> I would like to know how I she's like fine. So like our conversation before, let's say before December, because I say that I noticed the difference after I took her back home. Mm. You know, we had sin in December. I think because she had so much fun with you. I'm a cool mom, mm-hmm. if I just say so myself. <laughs> so like before December, our conversations used to be, and I'm not even going to lie, I'm going to confess. Okay, there were times I used to be weary of calling her because. Mm. Because before then, her, like she, she didn't always seem so interested. Mm. But there were days when we would video call for long, no, not the hours, like long minutes, like maybe almost an hour. But then, and we, and that time it was it was very hello, hello, mommy, how are you? Fine, how was school today? Fine. Mm. Call and response, call and response. Type very call and response. Yeah. Chicken. And I'm, I'm I'm always trying to get her to say, mommy, in school today, it's so so something happened. Fun fact, <laughs> my siblings are also really young. Because mm, obviously my mom had, had yes. my mom had, had my, my sister when I had, she had had my sister and just had my brother when I had my daughter. So I think my brother is just like a year or two years older than my daughter, mm. uncle. <laughs> hey, uncle. She does not respect. She, I always tell her, that person that you're calling anyhow is your uncle. Oh. Is that your mate? <laughs> anyway, so before, you know, this last year when she came, I'll come. So, our conversation was very call and response. And then, um, but what we used to do was Easter's, some Easter's, and then usually Christmas and New Year, we'd always spend it together. Mm-hmm. So we had, we have a house in the bottom, we always go. So, because they live in Oshun right now. Okay. So I come from Lagos, they come from Oshun, we meet in the bottom. Uh-huh. So it was my brother who now told me that she may be getting bullied in school. Mm-hmm. So and I had to, that time I had to sit her down. Oh, my parenting is not easy, yo. Because eh? I remember, like, I, after the conversation we had, I was asking myself, Am I really having bully conversations with a child? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I, I don't hold rich like that. Me, that I'm still somebody's baby. Anyway, so, you know, we, so my brother had told, had hinted at it that um, maybe somebody was, you know, bullying her. So I sat her down, and I'm like, What's going on? And I remember that Christmas, I even did a lot of Instagram stories because I rarely post about her. I rarely talk about her on my Insta. But like that time, I put, I think I posted her first one time and then my mm. friends and followers were like, I should post her. I'd like to see her now that I'm with her. So we talked and then she had told, she now told me, oh, that one boy in our school. And I'm like, no, when somebody tries to bully you, I'm not saying fight, but you don't stay down. Mm. You go tell to, the person, the, I don't like what you're doing. Don't talk to me like that. Tell, 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 tell the person, don't talk to me like that. And if that, leave the place. Mm-hmm. You people are children. Nobody can force you to be in a place you don't want to be. If the, Except it's like maybe the person, is touch, if the person touches you, then go and tell your teacher. Exactly. If you tell your teacher and they don't do anything, tell mommy. Mm-hmm. Mommy will come to school. And fight. You, uh, hey. <laughs> hey that, I remember I even told my mom, I said, if that child does not stop, you people will see me. <laughs> you know, she said, and it will not be funny. I will come down and blow grammar for all of them and they will not... Mm-hmm. <laughs> that conversation was so interesting. My mom would just look at me like this. Eh, you, you can't spark. You know, so after that, I remember that conversation. She became a little more open. So she would now tell me herself how school went. And in those... T- so I try, I still try not to be very, very emotional in our conversations mm. because I'm trying to be very strong so that she so doesn't... It's hard. It's hard, but I have to. You know, I'm trying to be very strong so that she doesn't feel 
my weakness and then break down because listen i can't stand her crying mm. Ugh, no i cannot rather that she should cry i will find whatever it is that will make her happy <laughs> so so um so like after that time she would tell me about school naturally and then we moved her and so when she came to Lagos in December, we spoke a lot more. She told me a lot about her friends mm. and like the people that are friends. I'm like, why are you friends with this person? Can you tell me why? Can you tell me like, mm. what's her surname? Do I, does her mommy come to school? Like just things that will even make her also think in her head. Like, okay, why am I actually friends with mm. this particular child? So, um, so between that December, New Year and now, our conversation has been way better. Like she even, cause I always tell her like, if I don't call you because, because of, because I'm, because of the work I do, mm. sometimes I don't remember to call her or I call when she has Got already bed, slept. Yeah. So I want to say, if you're missing me, tell mommy to call me now. Mm. Collect mommy's phone and type message on WhatsApp mm. that you're missing me. You want to see me. So we now started doing this thing where she would send voice notes. So like, this is how school was today. Hello, <laughs> mommy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. At school, you know, mommy. And then she and my mommy, she mom also give her money. She will go and finish spending it. She will not come what's her come and report it herself. So our conversation has now become more extensive mm. because I, I'm sure she used to overspend that time, but she just never felt, I'm sure she just never felt the, I don't know if to say the closeness enough to tell me, mm. but obviously like she and mom still would have the conversation. Yeah. But now I know when she has overspent, I know when mommy did not give her enough money for school. <laughs> I know when she liked her food in school and when she didn't like it. I know when the teacher beat her. I like now I am knowing more and I like it because yeah. you're communicating. We're you communicating. Having a relationship exactly. Now. And and then I don't feel like a single girl anymore. Right. I feel like a mother. Yeah. Before, that. when she didn't used to talk, I would try to make her talk. She wouldn't talk. I would feel sad about it. Sometimes I'll cry. And then I just I call again. I don't. I just had to keep on trying. But now it's like it's way better, and I'm just praying it just continues getting better because I'd say that um because me and my mom didn't have such a great conversation type communication. That's what I wanted to ask. Yeah. You. yeah. What's the relationship? What's your between, relationship between you and your, your mom, mom now? now? Now that you understand what it means to be a mom. My mom is a cool mother. <laughs> <laughs> my mom is so no, I cool. I I always like I always say it in my vlogs. My mom is so cool. It is unbelievable. Like I can literally tell my mom, "Mommy, I'm going to the club. Mommy, I'm going to the beach." And she wouldn't. I mean, hey, Andre like, level. Mm -hmm. If I got pregnant, <laughs> I remember my, my very first outing. Then you know, like I had called her and told her. And my mom has fear of water. And like an African mom, she's very, what's the word? Always that get scared easily. They're always very cautious. So she's very, hey, don't go. It's water. What if you drown? What if you, mommy, I'm oh, an adult. I'm adult. I'm adulting. So then we didn't used to have conversations. We were just talking, updates, 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 updates. Mm. So got pregnant. Then we had to sit down and talk. What are you going to do? What's the way forward? That was the first really, serious conversation. That was the first serious conversation. What do you really want to do? Where do you see your life going? Mm. Do you still want to get married? And I, I mean, we had that conversation also um, when I was about to move to their house in Lagos. You know, she had asked me, okay, because she knew I spoke to her friend. And I think she maybe must have felt hurt that it was her yeah. friend that advised me to go to their house for three months and not her. So we spoke after, like, I spoke to her friend and... Um, she just we agreed the same thing. Go there for three months and let's see what happens. So the whole drama that happened when we were leaving the house to cause us to talk. So she had she was not now mommy mm. that you only you have to respect. Obviously, yeah. Hey, if you don't respect my mother, she goes she's going to deck you. <laughs> <laughs> she will deck you. Africa you mother. Like, hey, forget where you be adult. Or, you know, but like she was now no longer mommy. Mm. She was now mommy. That like you, you guys could we could now have, talk yeah. mommy oh there's a man in my life who oh, is he like this he's doing like this that is not correct I don't like him that much oh. <laughs> <laughs> and my mom is so and I think why I subconsciously say she's so cool is she never asked me when I go to get married mm. she has never been like she has never been all those because I mean I hear my friends say my mom is always talking about marriage my mom does not talk about marriage too. my mom talks about what work are you doing now mm. Are you making money? Mm. What are the ways that you're trying to make money now? That's mm. what my mom, that's what we talk about. And then we gossip about family members. <laughs> 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 and then, you know, friends. And then our conversations now are very relaxed. Mm. 
they're very. Both of you converse like two adults. We converse like yeah. two adults. We and I think we converse like echoed mothers. <laughs> you know, because <laughs> like I feel like now she's she's understanding. She was patient with me in the early stages when my daughter wasn't very open. Mm. So she would come and give me the reports herself. Mm. This is what happened in our So now she week. understands what you were going through then. Why you couldn't talk to her? To her. I told her no. I told her, I said, please don't raise my sister and my brother the way you raised me. Mm. Because I feel like if me and you were closer then, I maybe may not, but obviously like when something's meant to happen, it's meant mm. to happen. But maybe I may not have made that mistake. Maybe even when I met the guy then, I probably would have just told you about him. And you would have told me what to look mm. out for. And things yeah. could have, you know, been different. Yeah. So I always, like, I even, I remind her at every interval that I can, please raise, especially my sister, but also my brother, raise them a bit, a lot more differently than you raised me. Talk to them. If they're doing something that you don't like, I want them to stop. Don't just tell them to stop. Let them see why they should stop so that they understand it so that it plays over and over again mm -hmm. in the back of their mm -hmm. mind why mommy advises against doing yeah. this. So just tell them, don't do it. Don't go there. Don't, mm -mm. Let them see why. Okay. And then they'll be able to, you know, do that, learn and move forward from that. So You are a cool mom. <laughs> I know. You are. You are. You're doing well. <laughs> so I want to, um, the other question is, um, so who makes the decision in Tolua's life? Is it you? Like when it comes to, it's really things like discipline or, mm -hmm. or this is, this is school she should go to, mm -hmm. you know, stuff like that. Are you the one who makes the primary calls or, or your mom? See, or do you guys have conversations first? Um, we actually have conversations. We, we decide together. Okay. So, like I said, kind of because of the kind of person she she's a pros and cons kind of person. So mm. she also raised me to be like that. So whenever we have to make decisions, it, obviously like money is a huge factor. Mm. So yeah. can we make decision now? Can we move it forward? Um, why are we making decisions? Is it good? Or is it what are the good sides or the bad sides? It's usually both of us. But obviously because she's there. Things like school, she'll go and see the school and then she'll come back and right. tell me, oh, this is what the school looks like. Oh, I like the teacher because of this and this and that. And then I'll be like, okay, so you know what is school fees? How much is the school fees? Um, what are we buying? It's a school fees. <laughs> yes, now. It's school ah, fees. Very important. So, <laughs> how much is school fees? What are we buying? Do Can we can we buy it at the end of the month? Can mm. we buy it in the middle of the month? So those decisions now, we make them together. But I'd say that those periods when, our, when we were just new, to it, she used to make a lot of decisions. And she just tell me, okay, this is what I'm going to do. I mean, but now, yeah, you were really young at the But so. now, it's like, okay, this is what I'm thinking we should do. What do you think? Yeah. Um, I want to change to lower school. What do you think? The school fee is going to be by this percent higher. Are you okay with it? I pay the bills, right? Like for her. Mm -hmm. But like, my mom doesn't just throw things on me. Mm -hmm. She comes and says this and this and this and that. And then we, so we've never really argued actually. You guys never make a argue. good team. You sound like you make a really yeah. good team. Yeah, never That's argued good. about And your anything. stepfather slash father? Yeah. Still? Yeah. yeah. <sighs> that man is a cool person. <laughs> he's a, no, he's a really good person. He's a good person. He's, just, he's there in the picture, but I think because I, I, he wasn't in my own life. Right. You know, he came in the picture to do God's work <laughs> and give my mom <laughs> and give my mom and two other children because I was the only child for like 16 years yeah. so she wanted more and then you know he came into the picture but I know he's a good person but we don't necessarily have mm. a relationship but we are not fighting we are not enemies we are cool we are, okay. when, he, when we talk we, we literally we talk like adults like mm. about are you okay I'm fine so how are you too? how is your health that's, it's just basic conversation. I think that. I think that. Yeah. Um, and you are planning on getting married by God's grace. Yes, amen. Do Jesus. you plan on having other kids too? Yes, actually. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I mean, you're really, you're really like young, to. so yeah. Yeah, I'd like to, but everything is in God's hands. But I'd like to, and I'd also like to adopt a child. Fun. Oh, nice. Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. Nice one, nice one, nice one, nice one. Oh. <sighs> Man. This was such an emotional episode. Um, but I also wanted to say that there are some people out there who are going through what you're go you went through. Mm -hmm. And what would you like to say to young girls um, who are going through it and young guys who find themselves in this mm -hmm. situation? Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'll, I'll start with the guys because I think I have a lot more to say to the girls. <sighs> Listen, I feel like... Um, we all we process information differently. 
right? As like, I mean, genders now, male yeah. and female. But what I'll just say is, no matter how hard it is for you as a guy to accept the fact that, oh, your girlfriend is now pregnant. Mm. Remember that it's most likely harder for her. Mm. And as much as it may be hard for you to try and be there for her, you you just have to push yourself. Obviously not in a toxic way. Mm. You know, Do whatever healing you need to do. Do whatever meditation and whatnot to help you get because the truth is you're going to have to come to terms with yeah. your current yeah. reality yeah. but please don't leave her alone don't um don't let her feel like she's alone yeah. for some people they don't even need you to be there physically they need you to drop money for some people they need you to drop money and they need to be there physically so speak to her let ask her what she needs mm -hmm. you know ask her what she needs ask her how you can be there for her and then please don't leave her alone Shah. that's cook of the butter yeah. then for the ladies baby girl Okay, so the thing is, if you've given birth, um, know that your priorities are different. Your priorities as a single mom is different from your friend who is probably taking care of a family too, but she's not a mother. Mm. And I say that because if you have help, good for you. Don't <laughs> don't overuse the help. Don't make them feel like they're not important to you because they're very important to you. But if you don't have help, remember that God will never give you more than you can handle. Mm. It may not make sense why you have to fend for a child by yourself, you know, and still be strong for that child and still be strong for yourself. Mm. I still try to be a baby girl. <laughs> and still be a mother. But um, hold it. Hold it very strongly. That God will never give you more than you can handle. Your priorities are different. And you're not the first person it, will it has happened to. You will not be the last. I don't say that to be mean. I say that for you to know that you're not alone. Yeah. Right? Um, it may look like your world is going to crash, but it won't. What I'm saying now may not make sense. Hmm. It may look like your world is going to crash. It but may nine look years like, later, you'll be laughing. Yeah, so listen, you're going to be gisting about it. But one thing you need to do is work on your mental health hmm. and surround yourself with good people surround yourself with good people don't surround yourself with people that you're subconsciously feeling like they're judging you or talking about you behind your back you know surround yourself with armies <laughs> people that can fight for you when you're not in the room um, but also very importantly like I think I said it already your mental health like prioritize it eh? because you need to be in a good mental space. Mm -hmm. And I remember my grandma used to tell me when I just had my baby, she used to say, I think it was superstition, but I tried. I didn't do it. She used to say, even if I'm crying, don't cry in front of your don't child. Don't cry in front of your child. And don't let your tears touch your child. I don't know why she used to say it, but I'm just going to pass it to you too. Yeah. You know, don't cry in front of your child because you see how babies absorb whatever it is that they're seeing. Yep. The energy around them is very important. I know that you may want to break that and it's okay. But please try and be strong, okay? And you, by the time you come out tops, you're going to be a baby girl. <laughs> but also, um, this is now for like, if you have to live away from your child it's tough i'm not even gonna lie to you but you see how mental health you see every see a lot of a lot of what you need is here and here and of course god like i talk to myself a lot a lot of people don't understand it but if i don't my head i probably <sighs> There will just be too many things going on in my mind. So if you have to leave away from your child, you need to be able to sit down and have the tough conversations by yourself. Tell yourself it's okay. Tell yourself this is what you have to do. Your child's Eleda, I mean your child's spirit, knows that if you had another chance, another um, choice, sorry, you would have taken that. So you have to come to terms with the fact that this is what you have to do but just also give yourself like a timeline so that you don't get too comfortable mm. and then, you know, take advantage, take too much advantage of people that are there mm. and taking care of your child for you, you know. But at the end of the day, you will be very fine. It, it will be tough. I'm not even going to lie to you. You probably cry a lot by yourself. You probably ask God a lot of questions, but you will be fine. And God will never give you more than you can. I promise you'll be fine. 
<laughs> thank you, Ivy. <laughs> thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank, thank you for sharing um, this really delicate side of you um, with our, our audience. I'm just, I'm feeling very humbled and sober right now. And it's usually not my will. Like, I'm. Did <laughs> is asking me for a dad joke. However. Did we mention your own timeline? Do you have a timeline? I do, but I don't. No pressure, no pressure. Yeah, no pressure. Yeah, no pressure. <laughs> but this is out of the. It's not inside the. And so let's talk it after. Let's, let's yeah, okay, okay. okay. <laughs> Ah. Ahead, so this is asking me for. Wait first, let me check my archives. No, I, mean, <laughs> I know for yeah. Me, He's looking for a dad joke. Let me check my archives if I have a dad joke. Uh, <laughs> written down. Are you really checking? Okay. This is a good episode to tell dad. That's so cool. To do better. Yes, yes, yes. yes, yes. <laughs> That's for dear dads. No. Yes. 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 Uh, let me first. Let me first check for. Well, he's my, looking for his dad uh, jokes. Okay. Mm. Shy. You say dad jokes on that, and this is a very sober. <laughs> Oh, so bad, like that. This this is I don't want to end. Imagine if you finish this book and then you know, you have to be inside. Everything, you know what? Find one that is funny. Yes, I want to make sure that I want to make sure that I want to make sure that all the ones I've written down are not funny. Yeah, they lie. Yes, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, it's, it's, it's still rolling. It's fine. Ah, uh, you've half card. Abby? You've half card. Is it long? Is it going to take you long? He's looking for it. I've seen some of them. I'm looking for one that is funny. That did you make funny? Yeah. Did you yeah. funny? Uh, so this 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 conversation has has really sobered me. I'm usually not like this. I'm like you know bubbly and all the time. You know, um, but I feel like it, this is also an opportunity to go with a dear dad for today. Um, dear dad, play your part. Um, a lot of the time as men, I know that it's tougher than we let on. Yeah. I know that while afraid like 80% of the time, I know that we fail forward. Um, there's no playbook, but stay in the play. Be present. It is important to stay in the play. Be present. Do your job, right? It is, it is easy to say, oh, nobody says thank you. Nobody says good job. Nobody says well done. Time will tell you all of that. You know, I'm learning that. And I'm, I've, I've, I'm, I've learned that from other men who have gone before me. It is important to hear these things. Yes, we all know this. But if you're feeling that sort of pressure, imagine what the person who is carrying your child is, is going through. Um, so, dear dad, do your job. Um, enough of the you know, that joke alert. He's a crew. He's a crew. So I have, I have, I have one. I have one. What song? What type of music do Santa's elves listen to when they're working before Christmas? Rap music. Oh. You see, this one I like you. You got it. You got it. Are you laughing? Baby, come on, that was good. You, you know, rap music, rap. like they're rapping the friends. Oh you know, rap. it's a rap. It's a rap. Oh Thank you guys for watching God. this this episode of the You Parenting Podcast. Thank you so much for the feedback. We just want to say that if you're out there and you're going through, you know, you're 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 living the the kind of interesting life that everything is having to live. We just want to say that you're not alone and you know, find your support system, appreciate your support system and give yourself, a, you know, take a deep breath from time to time. Please take don't forget to follow us on all our social media handles um, across all, like do parent import across all social media handles. Platforms. Platforms, yes. Mm -hmm. um, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter and what else, baby? YouTube, yes, YouTube. Please share, like, subscribe, and tell your friends to tell your friends to tell. Oh friends. my goodness! <laughs> I hate that thing. I hate it when you say, said. Tell your friends. And I will keep saying it all the episodes. You know what? I love it when you say tell your friends. Tell your friends. Please. Friend.
tell us your vlog, please, please. What's it be doing your show everywhere. Okay, uh-huh. what, what, no, do you, what do you talk about on your vlog? I do lifestyle. I don't hear. I can't do mom content too. <laughs> 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 lifestyle, fashion, skincare. Yes. Mm-hmm. Baby girl things. Nice, Come nice, on. nice. It be doing. It be doing your show everywhere. Everywhere yes. across. So it's going to be down on the screen. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, baby. Yeah, yeah. Keep yeah. quiet. <laughs> Keep quiet. <laughs> Don't you bring my up. leg you out. <laughs> Bye. And don't forget to listen to our listeners too. You know, Spotify, um, <laughs> iTunes, right? Uh, Didi, what? Which one again? Everywhere you find audio <laughs> content. content. Yes. Okay.